Okay, similar to uh, recently created video for finding the solid of revolution or the volume of a solid of revolution, using the shell method for rotation about a line x equals 2, this time we're going to rotate a region of, about the line y equals 2 using the shell method. Okay, and the key to remembering how to do these problems is to realize that when you, you want to create a typical rectangle uh, for revolving about your axis of revolution. And for the shell method, your typical rectangle is parallel to the axis of revolution. And we want to come up with an expression for the average radius, which is the distance from the axis of revolution to the center of the shell. And we want to come up with a, uh, an expression that represents the height of a typical shell. And that's what these values are right here. This y is really the average radius. This f of y is really the height of the shell. And dy represents the thickness of the shell. So how do we represent the height, the average radius. Well, for any y value, and by the way, these, when you create a typical shell, you can picture infinitely many of them with their width along this line right here. And this kind of tells you that you're going to be integrating with respect to y. These are changes in y. And so we're going to be integrating from zero to one, the y value. Um, and for any y value in this interval, that's this distance right here. So to get the height of that black segment, we have to take this 2 and subtract the y value. That's an expression for the average radius for any one, any of your infinitely many typical shells. Now the height of the shell is the distance from here. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, from here to here. How can we uh, express that distance? Well, think of right minus left to represent the distance. So it's going to be 7. Take away what? Well, for any y value from 0 to 1, this distance is f of y. In other words, that distance is a function of y. And this distance right here is 7y squared, according to the definition of the function. So to get the height of the shell, it's 7 Take away this distance, 7 minus 7y seven squared. And now we're ready to set up the definite integral. It's going to look something like this. 2 pi the limits of integration along the y-axis are from 0 to 1. The average radius is 2 minus y. The height of a typical shell is 7 minus 7y seven squared. And you can think of the thickness of the shell as represented by dy. So evaluating that integral will give you the volume of the solid of revolution. Now if I share my screen, go to Desmos. I've already set this up. Here's where I got the snapshot that was pasted on the whiteboard. Uh, here's the integral. It looks like the this evaluates to 47.647. Your textbook probably has, if this is a textbook problem, uh, and you have answer key, it probably has pi in the answer instead of evaluating this to so many decimal places because of that 2 pi. Okay, and I'm going to, I'll copy this link and include it in the answer to this problem.